Hello everybody, welcome to our channel. My name's John. This is a continuation of the RC Car Basics. Today I want to talk about shocks and the importance they have upon how the vehicle acts. I have several videos from before about stripping them down, adding sunflower oil, olive oil, etc, etc. So you can go back and watch those if you want. But what I wanted to show you first is how easy they are to take off. So let's get into it. I need to make sure that this camera is in focus. So screwdriver said on the previous video 5.5 uh, socket much easier than one that came in the kit because the one that came in the kit is plastic and useless undo it take the nut off this can actually just stay attached as you can see the top parts now undone now at the bottom part you have a little screw which again you use your Phillips screwdriver for. Undo it and it feels tight but just pull it out. Done. Don't worry about that. You just clip that back into place. Now let me get rid of that. So here's the shock that just came off the car. Now if your shock is starting to feel a bit old and tired you don't have to worry about taking it all apart and replacing the oil straight away. One of the simplest things you can do to give your car a little bit more spring in its step is to stretch this here. Let me show you. I'm not saying a lot, so I'm not saying take this spring and stretch it out to here because that will ruin the spring. What you need to do is stretch it until you get some resistance and that stretched it just a little bit. That's all you need. Put it back on and you will find that that will help your spring become a little bit better. Okay? If you want to know how to change the oil on your RC shocks, then I have a video and I will link it up. If I find out how to do it, I'll link it up there or up there or maybe even down there or there or in the description below. And that's it. Let me just quickly show you the rear of the car as well while we're here. The rear is no more complicated. It has the exact same system with the nut and the Phillips head there and the screw at the back. Very simple to take off, so please don't be worried about it. Okay, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, do so as well and hit that notification bell for future video alerts. Have a great day today, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.